And welcome back into First Take. And Stephen A., you had a special message that you want to share with everybody, Yes, right? I do. Thank you so much, Molly. I personally autographed 20,000 copies of my straight shooter memoir this Friday, okay? It's Black Friday. Make sure you pick up a copy of my book, Straight Shooter. It is available on pre-sale. This book is very, very special to me. I ain't going to deny it because I get to talk about everything I really can't talk about on television, okay? Now, you need a Christmas gift or want to buy something for yourself? Well, I got the perfect gift for you. Perfect solution, all right? You can pre-order a signed copy of my new book, Straight Shooter, and receive a customized gift certificate, okay? That's this right here, all right? To present to your loved one, friend, family member, or co-worker as a Christmas gift. A limited quantity of my autographed deluxe collector set will include the hard copy and my autograph. Yes, it was me. I signed 20,000 copies, okay? <laughs> you can visit straightshooterbook.com to order your copy today. Once my book is released, the autographed copy will be shipped. Thank you. Can I say one thing? Yes. I am a witness of watching him yes. sign. It might have happened yeah. in commercial yes. breaks. Oh, oh, one right. or How two times. How about that? All y'all see me do it. Look exactly. One or that, two Lord. times. What a nightmare. <laughs> 20,000 copies. I cannot wait to read it because you actually <laughs> open up. So I know I'm yes. going to learn quite a bit about you. Yeah. Can I make a deal with you? What's, What's the up? release date? January 17th. Mm. I'll make a deal with you. Yes. I'll buy 100 if you personalize mine, and then we'll give them out to people that need to read. I'll do it. Just put my, say something nice about me so I, I can I, lie to my I, kids I, and say I, I was I'll a great one. I'll do it for you. You got a deal. Appreciate I'll do it. Deal. I'll do it. On wax. My damn arm, my damn right arm going to fall off. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. New, new meaning to tennis elbow, right? <laughs> I love it. I love yes. it. A great Christmas Thank gift you. for people to check out. And much more serious news, guys. I want to get into this Jerry Jones story. Mm -hmm. So after the Cowboys beat the uh, Giants yesterday, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones answered more questions about a story published by the Washington Post earlier this week. So the Post published a story with a photo that showed a 14 year old Jones peering over a crowd of white students as six black teenagers walked up the steps of North Little Rock High School in Arkansas as the school was integrated in 1957. Jones said he was there out of curiosity, not animosity. Here's more from him. That was 65 years ago and uh, I had no idea when I walked up there what we were doing and uh, 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 it um, uh, it just is a reminder to me of uh, how to uh, uh, improve and do things the right way. Okay. A little context here. The Cowboys are one of seven teams not to have had a black head coach and have had two black coordinators since Jones has owned the team, but their highest football executive vice president of player personnel, Will McClay, is black. Jones has complied with the Rooney rule in which teams have to interview minority candidates. Jones said his decisions are made for business reasons, not race. Stephen A., your reaction to all of this? <sighs> I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this. <clears throat> I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones. And I'm not hiding that from perfect, perfect, no. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report, said he was 14 years old. Yeah. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question what was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should was, be okay it, with it, it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as black people and as black folks, black men have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things. And we all know it. Mm -hmm. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. What I'm saying is, here's the part that bothers me. You want to get on Jerry Jones and his track record, fine. In 2003 or so, you know what? You should have hired. You, you, Dennis Green shouldn't have got an interview on the phone. It should have been an in-person interview. Right. You should have followed the letter of the rule 
of the law as it pertains to the Rooney Rule. He wanted Bill Parcells, universally recognized one of the greatest football coaches we've ever seen. It was clear he wanted Bill Parcells. Nobody else was going to have a chance of getting that job. That's what he wants to do. You want to malign him for that? Fine. You want to point out that he's one of seven black, uh, 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 NFL owners that's never hired an African-American as a head coach? Fine. Do all of that. Attack him for that. Go ahead. Yeah. No problem. I see a plethora of African-Americans employed by him. I see black players who play for him who rave about this man and what he's done for them on a personal level. But if you want to go by his hiring record when it comes to head coaches, no problem. Can't go to the executive route because we know it's him. You understand? He want to be the president, the GM, the owner. He want to do everything. And then he's got his children that he leads on as well. So you can't go to the executive route. But you want to get on him about the head coaches? Fine. But you're going to bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old. 65 or 66 years ago. We this is this is where cancer culture gets into the mix. And you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. Yeah. I will remind you, we've had Senator Robert Byrd, who passed away a few years ago, that was a member of the KKK. We've had other politicians, you know, whose record, who who didn't want to, to segregate, who didn't want. Uh, uh, desegregation. Right. The George Wallaces of the world, the Bull Connors of the world, and others. Okay? We've seen all of this. You've had elected officials of Capitol Hill that are implementing and legislating policy that affects our lives. And, but we're going to go to Jerry Jones. When, and, and by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. Yeah. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old. 14, 15 years old. Right. So now some folks are going to get to look at Jerry Jones, and who's from Arkansas. This is the South. We understand what the South represented. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, when, Pete, when, when slavery ended with the Emancipation Proclamation, you talk about 1863 or what have you. What did Dr. Martin Luther King talk about? Well, you didn't give black folks nothing. You, 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 you rented slavery from them, but you gave them no land. But you gave white peasants from Europe Land in the West and the Midwest, okay? So we understand from an historical perspective where it all comes from, what the South represented at least once upon a time, and in some people's eyes still to this day. But we're going to lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South, and we're going to pick it up 66 years later to say, you know something? Yeah. You ain't hire a black coach. I think that's pretty low. I really, really do. I think that's. I think that part is pretty low. If he were an adult, yeah. that would be different. But a 14, 15 yeah. year old kid raised in the South who literally is just standing there looking, and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. Oh, this is where you are. You got to explain this. Yeah. You ready to explain what you did when you were 14? Yeah. How about you? Right. I can't. I don't know if I want to, especially how the world will perceive it today. Yeah. And I'm 55. Yeah. This man is 80. Yeah. 66 years ago. Come on, y'all. Yeah. I, I have a 14 year old daughter, and you know, at 14, to, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm satisfied with the answer that he that he gave. That he was yeah, there out so of curiosity. Curiosity wasn't like that. He was there throwing something at exactly. the students. He wasn't out there yelling at him. There's no photo. It's right. a photo of him just seeing, being yeah. curious. Yeah. And at how influential a 14-year-old in, in, in our time would be a ninth grader influenced by 10th graders and people that you look up to about what's going on at your school. Yeah. Now, I wonder where the origins of this picture is coming from. And, I, and, it, and it just pops in my head, maybe Dan Snyder, you know, what he said about opposition and having stuff on people. I wonder, you know, because it's curious that this comes up at this because particular it, time. Because it's coming out of Washington? Yeah, and, 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 the fact, and, and, the fact, and, and the fact that it's coming up at this time when we know the heat is on the, the commander. But Daniel Snyder basically said, I got stuff on everybody. Right, but but for me, I can't I can't hold a fourteen year old accountable for his actions, even if he was there yelling and screaming because how influential you know you are at that age and following the crowd. Uh, but I but it does make me kind of look at the history of Jerry Jones when you think about you know he was the only owner that you know didn't allow his players to take a knee for the call, mm -hmm. right? So you look at it that way, but I don't think this is a smoking gun like aha we got you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's been no records of him, no tapes of him. You know, saying you know derogatory things about the African American community. Right. So for me, 
if this is a nothing burger and I know that, you know, in this cancel culture, we want to have outrage, but I can't be outraged about a 14 year old that's, you know, sitting there watching some black kids and maybe he's never had encounters with out of curiosity. Can I just say one thing as the only person that's not black and I didn't know where you guys were going to go. You could have went the total opposite end of the spectrum and no one would have faulted you. So it's really big of all of you to show so much grace in, in this situation when, when you didn't have to. The, and I hope it's lended on the other side of the coin. Yeah, I just wonder, what I do wonder about is not a 14-year-old who's in a picture uh, three years after Brown versus Board of, Board of Education, right, when things are desegregated, yeah. people are proposing it. I don't wonder about that. I don't wonder about uh, not, 65 years ago when... Even if you weren't standing and protesting, a lot of people still believe what they believed about racism, about black people. I don't wonder about that. I don't even wonder about how, even if, even if, you know, there was another incident in Arkansas with nine kids trying to say Right across the city, right, 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 right in the same city, right so across a few miles away. I don't wonder about that. Right. But what I will say is now you're 80 and you're an owner, and forget the picture. This is separate of the picture. You have an opportunity. And that I think was what the article was trying to point to. You have an opportunity to change hiring practices. You have an opportunity to help change even your kids and the culture of the NFL. You are, Jerry Jones is a trailblazer. And when it comes to owners, a lot of owners don't really like him. Right. They don't really rock with him, right? I've been right. in meetings with owners. I've helped yeah. them. They don't really, he, he's a trailblazer. Yeah. And so why not be a trailblazer tra uh, uh, when it comes to not only hiring, mm -hmm. but also when it comes to uh, leading a charge, not with just black coaches or, or, or whatever, yeah. but all the way across the board. Because that's that's the kind of opportunity that you have. You think about like how does change start? How do I make this uh, make these changes I want to see? It starts with you, like Jerry. It starts with you actually being the one. I was negotiating the collective bargaining agreement, right? One of the nine players, executive uh, vice president of NFLPA, sitting across with Jerry Jones, all these people. And one of the things that I mentioned, I wrote about this in my book, right? Yeah. I mentioned. I said, Jerry, you have an opportunity mm -hmm. to be an example when it comes to players and owners and negotiations. Why don't we trail that? Why don't we blaze that trail? And that's the point. The only point that I would make, separate of a picture from, from uh, 1914, 65 years ago, is that right now you can make changes. And you, you, not anybody else. No, oh man, how do I, man, I'm over here trying to, I've written articles about Rudy Rola. Oh, we have conversations on TV. He could actually hire somebody. He, could, he can do it when nobody else right well, now can. My retort to you would be this, and I don't disagree with you. It would be nice to see him do that. No doubt about that. But my retort to you would be, if you were Jerry Jones and somebody used a photo of you from when you were 14 years of age, 66 years ago, yeah. to sort of prompt and provoke a discussion that would lend itself towards the insinuation that maybe you are racist, yeah. how incentivized would you to be, would you be to yeah. do something then? Because it now lends itself towards this belief system that you're just trying to cover your own you-know-what because of the article. And to get to his point, it's very important that I bring this up. The whole Colin Kaepernick thing, let me give you the inside of what I was told about that. Kyle. It's okay. interesting you brought that up because it's consistent with what Jerry Jones talked about. When people were in opposition to Colin Kaepernick and to him taking the knee. And the narrative was clearly hijacked because the former president used it as political fodder to buffer himself and other folks within the party sat up there and joined right in unison and lockstep because they knew it would appease their constituency. Jerry Jones, I was told, called a business meeting with the players. He didn't say it was about football. He said it was about business. Mm -hmm. He said, when you do that, down here in this state, this is the kind of detrimental effect it could have on our bottom line. If it has an effect on my bottom line, it's going to have an effect on your bottom line. So in other words, when he says business, it's very believable that to him, it's business decisions. He ain't looking at certain things. He's looking at business because you've got white folks that are against them, just like black folks, for the reasons that you said. In the end, you are right. He should, he should be the trailblazer that he is. He should make things happen. He's absolutely positively a phenomenal owner as it pertains to marketing and, and branding. He's brilliant. We all know this. What I'm saying is this. It's a damn shame that in the year 2022 that people can get away with, oh, this 14-year-old yeah. is standing there, yeah. and because of that, that's 
how we can look at him. I don't care what you think about Jerry Jones. Me, but you, or anybody. He don't deserve that. So you feel like if it, it, it smells and it was a gotcha it, moment it, it, for it, him it, it, and, it, it, and, a bit, and a bit of... They're trying to paint him as a racist. They're trying to paint him as a racist. I'll tell you one other thing. Yeah. And, you're, and you're, you're confirming the fact or you think it's valid that he's truly making business decisions. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I mean it's, 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 you know... I think this is a lesson for us all, right? You know, we have to be careful because we've seen people get their Twitter, you know, for past tweets brought up and things like that. And this is just a older version of that. And so I think this is a tale for all the people and all the kids out yeah. there to make sure that they keep themselves clean. Yeah. All right. If anything, this could be a gotcha moment for America. Yeah. Right? Like it wasn't, he wasn't the only person there in protest. Yeah. And it wasn't like everyone else was protesting. We should like was saying, no, segregation is is bad. People thought segregation was a good thing. Yeah. And so this, and Jerry Jones was 14 years old, like yeah. this older, prominent guy. So it wasn't just him. So anyone who wants to say, oh, gotcha, Jerry yeah. Jones, it's really gotcha everybody I'm, else. I'm just, my last word would be this. If Jerry Jones was an adult, I got no issues. Yeah. The fact that this society, we've really taken major, major steps back. We've got some people out here who are miserable and their definition of success is bringing somebody else down. Because when you can sit up there and pull a video, I'm not defending Jerry Jones per se. Again, I want, I would like to see him hire a brother at some point, even though he's got brothers hired and what have you, African Americans. We get all of that. I understand that. And the record is not perfect. But I, I, I like the man personally, and I think that he's a good man. But the biggest thing is, even if I didn't, I would still come to his defense. Because yeah. when you are fought, 15 years old, years ago. 66 years yeah. ago, and somebody is going to, if they can get away with doing that to him, none of us are saying, yeah. right. what you do 10 years ago? What you do 10 years, 10 years ago? You don't want to know. No, I don't even, I, I, man, I don't even remember. 66 years ago? But I think two, that's, that's, two it's terrible. can be true, and I just want to wrap it up by saying this. I, I don't think it's ever fair to judge people by their worst moment. Yeah. And to Sam's point, at the same time, it also can be an opportunity. It's an opportunity. So, 